Kaboom. Thanks the Sam of the Renshaw. I like your sign off. Sorry, you know it's quite rude sometimes. It's like, bye, before you even get to say your proper goodbye. So, I will say goodbye for you. Thanks everyone who came to see Sam. And goodbye. And hello, everyone who's come to see me. Or maybe you came to see both of us. Who knows? Hi, Brianna and Bree and Leah. Loads of you got little stars next to your name. That's new. What's this about? I think it's what level you're on on you now. It's like a computer game. Level four. Level three. How weird. Anyway, hello, Adriana and Josephine and Sophia and Clara and Amber and Lily and Emily and Ravina and Marina. Everyone's names ended in A again today. It's one of those days. Olivia, Joanna. <laughs> Maybe I can just see those first for some reason. Oh, hey, Lee R. There we go. Robin, Nelson, Axa, Audrey. Hey. Sorry I'm 10 minutes late. My computer didn't want to be my friend, as usual. But hopefully you can see me and hear me and everything is cool. Is everything good? The chat goes silent. That's not a good sign. Have I tweeted this? Let me just check I've tweeted you. Have I tweeted this? Yes. It hath begun. Everything is swaggy, said Erica. It is. I'm feeling swaggy. Lisa is silent. I bet there's loads of people that never comment and just sit in silence watching. Don't be scared to comment. I might read it out. I'm not scary. I won't judge you if your spelling is bad. My nose is itching. Have I got hay fever? I don't know. Maybe someone let a cat into the house. Sniffing. Meow. Uh, so I have just been on an epic quest to buy Animal Crossing. I went to HMV. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know. I walk there. It's about 20 minutes walk from here. And they had three games, and they were all Yoga DS. First of all, how do you play DS on a Yoga? I mean, <laughs> how do you play Yoga on a DS, even? Secondly, why is that the only game? Has anyone got Yoga DS? Is it a good game? I'm guessing it just tells you how to do yoga, but like, surely the screen is too small, so when you're all like bent in half with your legs in the air, you're not going to be able to see the screen anyway. I'm going to write an angry letter. So yeah, after that I went on a quest, and I was not stopping until I found the game. So I found this little tiny game shop about an hour from here, and I was like, please let me in, because it was closing. Put my claws on the window, and I was just like, and the woman took pity on me and gave me the final copy in the shop, which came from like the display copy. So this is the one that was on display. And I was like, please, can I have that one? And she gave it to me, so she's the best. But the whole reason I had for buying this is because loads of my friends, like Wiro, was like, why don't you just download it? Because I wanted the instruction book, because I like the smell of instruction books. And I like to be able to hold the games and smell the plastic. But then the instruction book is just this piece of paper. How cheap! Nintendo? Where's my book about the game? All it says is this is how to play, and you can meet people on the island. I should have just downloaded it. What a... What a rubbish book. I want a thick book telling me about all the characters, telling me about what I can do. Ugh. Anyway, I've got it now, so I'm excited to play this later. I've never played an Animal Crossing game before, so everyone was saying it's good, and PJ's got it, and all my other friends have got it, and they're like, come to my village, I'm like, what does that mean? So I'm going to find out, and I'll let you know if I like it. Has anyone else got it? Do you like the game if you have it? Julie M said, Animal Crossing is the best! Beth T said, it's amazing. That's good. No one else has any opinion on Animal Crossing. Any opinion? Oh, whoa. There's an extra amount of those, like, Neil gave you some love. I can't read the chat. Um, Courtney said it's epic. Nikita said, we, you will love it, Phil. Morgan doesn't have a 3DS. Oh, I will buy your 3DS. Declan plays Cannibal Crossing, which is the 18 plus version. <laughs> that also sounds quite fun. Imagine if there was an 18 plus Animal Crossing where you just had to eat the other animals. It'd be horrific. 
Or like zombie Animal Crossing with like limbs being removed. Take pictures of your town and show us when it's done. What is happening outside? Eight million things just fell over. I will take a picture of my town, whatever that means, if I get a town. Maybe they won't even give me a town. Maybe I'll turn it on it. they'll be like, you can't have a town. End of the game. Remember to save the game, said Emily. Okay. I'll put that in my brain. I hate that if the game doesn't auto-save. Mario is the worst on the Wii. It doesn't auto-save. You've got to go to a castle to save it. What's that about? Silly Nintendo. Billy's Francis says, what was it like meeting Joss Whedon? If you didn't know, I did a radio show with Joss Whedon, who made Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the Avengers and loads of other good stuff. Much Ado About Nothing, which is coming out. Angel. So the creator of my favorite TV show, Buffy, was sat in front of me. I was fangirling a lot. Anyone that listened to the show, hopefully I didn't fangirl too much. Did I? Was I all right? But yeah, he was a very nice guy. He was very quietly spoken and very, like, witty all the time. Really funny. One of those people you just want to kind of sit and listen to. And I didn't feel cool enough to say much to him. But I did ask him some questions. And he signed my comic. I was such a Buffy... I Because I've met so many people and I haven't got a signature of anyone before, ever. And he was the first person I've ever asked for an autograph for. So I felt kind of embarrassed. I was like, I love Buffy so much. Will you sign my comic? But he was like, yeah, sure. So... Uh, awkward chin shot. Yeah, this is my giant Buffy comic. And he signed here. Because there's a funny thing, my parents photoshopped me with Sarah Michelle Gellar for my prom photo. So he put a little thing on Buffy saying, Phil, prom was the best night of my life. It's mirrored. So if you held a mirror to that, you'd see it. And then that's his signature. So I'm going to keep that safe for the rest of time. Let me just put it down carefully. So yeah, that was my life completion. Mega fangirl over here. Did anyone listen to the show I did with him? Anyone? Someone said it's not mirrored. What? Yes, said Major. Yay. If you haven't, you can listen to it still, I think for the next three days, it's on bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one and it was on a Wednesday if you go back through the schedule. So you've got till next Wednesday if you want to listen to it. I choose some good songs I think. I got to choose three or four songs for my playlist as long as his playlist. It's been a busy week though because straight after that I went to France. That was random. Um, I went to Cannes uh, for the Google internet fair or something. I wasn't even sure what it was and I was at it. But it was really cool. I can't speak any French, so that was a challenge. I was ordering a burger and I wanted it without cheese, and I was like, no fromage? And the woman was like, sans fromage. I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't know the word for no, which was a bit of a fail. And I went to the beach, which was cool. I had some real French ice cream. I had creme brulee and coconut which was delicious and we got to hang out uh, it was me and Dan and then we got to hang out with the guys from Sorted Food who were there too if any of you watch Sorted Food they were really nice guys so it was nice to hang out with them I think the slow-mo guys were meant to go as well but then they didn't go so it was just us and the Sorted Food guys and then lots of Google people what is sans then if not is not without I think sans is I can do the French alphabet in a little song, which is A B C D U F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W I T Z. Check that out. So, yeah, sounds is without. Oh, okay, yeah. So she angrily said without at me because I said no fromage. It's probably quite rude that. My little one was like no cheese in your face. Not bad, Phil, said Erica. Thanks. I can also say, je ne comprends pas, j'ai anglais. 
which means I don't understand anything. I'm English, which I used quite a lot. Everyone actually speaks English there as well, though. So it wasn't like being in Japan or something and just not understanding what was going on. Most people had a basic English, which is, I wish we had more languages that we could speak. I can speak German a bit. I could ask you for an e uh, a hedgehog. It should be, hello. Uh, I can't even say that. Oh, no. Du hast ein Eagle. I think that's, do you have a hedgehog? So, yeah, I think I started speaking German at people as well. But, yeah, me and Dan were in a video that Sorted Food made, which should be coming out soon. And we ate some very French foods. I'll tell you one of them was frog's legs. And you'll have to wait and see what I thought of that. I can't say it was delicious. Blah. Emma Lou became a fan. Yeah, thanks anyone that's becoming a fan. If you are new to you now, this is a very relaxed show as I'm sleepy. You can sign in with Facebook up there. Whoopa! And click become a fan, which is there. And I say thank you to anyone that becomes a fan in the next 20 seconds. Go, go, go. Quick, 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 quick. I'm in jail, which is the perfect time to thank Eddie B, Kiera Y. Uh, that's it, according to my chat. Oh, no. Sarah H, Leah H, Heidi B, Siani M, Raven P, Eloise, Blazer, Ida, Bushra is already a fan. Thanks. Daphne. Boba, Fiona, you don't have to pay any money. It is free, and then you get secret emails. I've sent out, like, one so far. And also, whenever I do a giveaway, all of the fans are entered together. There will be one in July. The last thing I gave away was a T-shirt. I can't remember who won, but someone won. I tweeted it and everything. Uh, Iris became a fan. Thanks, Iris. Yeah, so France. I haven't been since I was about six or seven, so I don't remember anything about France, but I loved it. It was so beautiful in Cannes. Really, really beautiful. I wish I had more time there. I had to do, like, a panel thing where we talked about YouTube, and it was a bit scary because there was loads of serious business people there. And someone was like, do you send all your tweets out yourself? As if I've got like some team of people tweeting for me. And I was like, no, there's no hidden mole people under my floorboards. And everyone was like... Some people just don't get the Phil sense of humor. It's a shame. The Phil sense of humor. The weather was beautiful as well, Kiriam. Was it you called Kiriam? I don't know what your name was. It was about 24 degrees Celsius. I wore Factor 30 sun cream, so I am not tanned at all. I'm just the same color from my single beach day. I did go outside, though, I promise. It's quite warm returning here as well. It's not been the best day today, but it was quite warm yesterday. Chloe said, the Phil sense of humor is the best sense of humor. Thanks. Oh, Shrill said, nice job leaving the keys behind. Yeah, so we got back from the airport, and I was like, just going to open the... Oh, I left the keys on the table in the apartment. No. So yeah, I left our house keys in France. Idiot. I'm such an idiot. So I had to ring the landlord who wasn't very happy. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I, I just gave your keys to the pizza guy just in case of any worry. So there's this pizza restaurant down the road that just has keys to our house. That's a comforting thought. So anytime I'll just be asleep in the middle of the night and some man could just be like, pizza. Hopefully. Well, that wouldn't be too bad, would it? But I'm scared that aside from his pizza job, he could be a psycho. Who knows? He seemed quite trustworthy, though. And he said he got lots of people's keys. Probably copying them all and selling them to burglars. But yeah, we got in the house and I need to get... Well, Dan's set of keys was here, so I need to get my set cut again by a key cutter, which I hope isn't too expensive. I don't think it will be. We didn't take both of our keys in case, like, the plane crashed and we lost our bags or something. Nothing beats drunk pizza, says Amanda P. It is Saturday. I will let you off. 
I mean, sorry if I made everyone want to order Domino's now. That's what happens if I talk about pizza too much. What are these percentages on the side? DT Chris, 75% over there. You know has changed. I haven't been here in two weeks, so... What is all this about? Leandro had pizza for lunch. I went to Itsu. There's this place called Itsu, which I've just discovered in London. It's so nice! It's like Chinese, Japanese-y food. And you can get chicken. I would recommend the chicken teriyaki. It's delicious. So I had that today. It was really good. I'm so excited to play Animal Crossing. So what's it say on this little leaflet? The worst instruction book of all time. You can meet people on the island. Get connected by rail. Look at people's homes. If I'm honest, like, the premise of this game didn't sound that exciting to me, but everyone I know is like, oh my god, you have to play it. So I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. That will be me. That will be you. That will be your mum. And that will be your dad. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to play it. For reals. For reals. It's basically a pet society. Okay. I don't know how, how you would make a gaming video of a DS game. But. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make a gaming channel ever. I just think I like. I spend ages on stuff in games. I wouldn't want to rush it because I was like. Hey guys, so today we're doing level 2. I'd spend like 10 hours on level 2 and then annoy everyone for being too slow. Harmony said, why can't I comment? I got that one. Beth said, thanks for using my drawings on the radio show last week. You're welcome, Beth. Yeah, if you want to send us stuff to the radio, you can. Don't send us presents, though. Just send, like, drawings for us to put in the background. There is an address which is on... Is it on the Radio 1 website? I don't know. Let me... I'll find it for you. If you want to get a pen and paper now, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, one second. Okay, I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. I will tweet it after this show. So if you follow me on Twitter there, you can find out how you can send us stuff if you want to. Pictures, though, not presents. I repeat. Why not presents, says Anne? Because um, if we get, like, a giant box, it has to go through some scary security scanner by the BBC people, so we don't get to open it ourselves. So if you spend money on us, it just feels a bit of a shame, especially if you're sending, like, chocolate and things. We didn't open, well, we didn't get this address so people could send us presents. It's just literally for decorating the studio. But we do read all the letters we get. It's just sometimes if there's a big present box, the security man will open it all. And then if there's a letter with the present, it will get mislaid from the, the present because it's like a massive, scary process. Adele says, Philip is a lover of horses. I am. That's what my name means, but I'm kind of scared of horses. Stupid name. Oh, Wikitoria has it. It is Dan and Phil, BBC Radio 1, Broadcasting House, London, W1A, 1AA. I repeat, Dan and Phil, BBC Radio 1, Broadcasting House, London, W1A, 1AA. So there, I'll tweet it later as well. If you want to draw as a Pikachu. Lydia said I sound like an aggressive typer. I, do I sound like an aggressive typer? Let me just type something. I just typed hello, my name is Phil. Did, did that sound aggressive? I think it's because you're next to the speaker. So it sounded aggressive. Maggie, yes, I'll go to your senior prom with you. I sound like one, said Christina. I'm a fast typer. I'm not like, 
boo, 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 boo. It's so annoying if you're in a library or something and someone's just like typing really loudly. You just press the keys. Chloe said, how is my butt piercing? Yeah, I sat on one of Dan's earrings two weeks ago. And it went right into my butt, like the whole thing was in my bum. It was like that, that much? In my bum cheek. Hurt so much. Nothing has hurt that badly before. And I sat up, like, squealed in pain. I had to pull it out again. So sitting down hurt for about a week after that. It's all healed now. The human body is miraculous. Dan wasn't in the room, but I'm sure he would have found that hilarious. He also does not want to wear that earring anymore, surprisingly. But you shouldn't leave them on the side of the sofa then. What's that about? Did it make you cry, says Stephen? No, I'm too manly to cry. It was more like, ow! And I may have said a word that I would not say on YouTube. Hi, Brazil! I was saying hi to Brazil from Vivian, who I'm guessing is Brazil with a face. Links attract. Why is this one? Oh, yeah. This looks like a product placement. I'm just holding this deodorant. This deodorant is meant to attract the ladies. So I bought it. Give it a spray. It smells quite flowery. It smells like metal flowers. Maybe that's what ladies like. What do you like the smell of, ladies? Metal flowers? That's what I smell of now. You get all the ladies, says Chloe. I'm attracted, says Lyric. Yeah, if you go into boots and smell this, this is what I smell like at the moment. You can let me know. Vanilla. See, what I think is... Let me just see if I'm thinking this right. Surely, like, everyone likes nice smells. And some of the male deodorants smell gross. I don't know what girl is going to be attracted to something that smells like a horrible chemically metal. Clarissa, Clarissa likes vanilla. See? Well, if everyone smelled like girly vanilla, vanilla-y smells, Shrill likes the smell of fire and petrol like me. I like that. Madison likes the smell of death. Madison? Musk is horrible. Musk. You smell like a muskrat. Becca likes strawberry. Abby said new books. Imagine if they made a deodorant that smelled like new computer game manuals. I would wear that, because then everyone who smelled you would associate you with the smell of a new computer game, and then they'd want to marry you. Let's release a business together, guys. So I start a Kickstarter for new computer game perfume for boys and girls. Unisex. The boys' ones could smell of, like, Call of Duty, and the girls' ones could smell of Call of Duty. Because girls can play video games, too. I'm not prejudiced. I hate it when people think girls just play really girly games. There's loads of girls that play boy games too. And they shouldn't even be called boy games. Like, most of my female friends are better at me, better than me at, like, Halo and stuff like that. Hi, Erin. Sophie loves Call of Duty. Yeah, see, I suck at Call of Duty, and everyone thinks it's just for boys. Idiots. New book smell, yeah. So we're going to release a line of fragrances. One is going to be Petrol. One is going to be new book. One is going to be new computer game. So we've got two more. What should the other two more smells be? What am I doing with my fingers. Uh, grass. I don't like the smell. I don't like the smell of newly cut grass. I'm sorry. I'm a freak. I must be a freak. Fireworks. Party poppers. Yeah. A freshly popped party popper. That can be one. That was Laura, by the way. Pizza, says Zero. Open windows, like in Dan's video. After the rain. Lions, they don't smell good. I've been to the zoo, they smell kind of awful. The sea. Starbucks. Yes, Julie. And one that smells of Starbucks, which is like a Frappuccino-y coffee smell. Starbucks is always smell good. Chlorine, said Rudy. You could just, like, rub a swimming pool on yourself. So, yeah, that's our fragrance line. What should we call our fragrance line? So, we've got five cents.
Need some kind of sexy name for it. Haley Williams, says Kate. Should we just call it Haley Williams and stick her face on it without permission? Nando's. Crayons. Five crayons, said someone. Who said that? I like that. I've lost you, I'm sorry. I'll always remember what you said, though. Emily said, sex in a waffle. I doubt we'd get that anywhere. Filgrance! Yeah! Who said Filgrance? No one type anything so I can find the person. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Alex L. We're calling it Filgrance. It's should start up a Kickstarter for £10 million. I'm not really going to make a Kickstarter. I don't want your money. You should get things for free. Except for maybe t-shirts, which I can't give you for free, unfortunately. Maria said my hair is nice today. Thanks. It kind of got windswept. Oh, I don't have my phone. I was going to show you something. Never mind. I guess you'll never know. No, I went to um, Spec Savers today, and I was trying on some new glasses because I'm sick of my glasses. I've had them for like ten years. But I got really self-conscious because they only had one mirror in the middle of the shop, and there was like ten people all trying on glasses at the same time. So it just took ages, and I got really stressed out. If you own a glasses shop, you should put mirrors everywhere. There's just one in the middle. So yeah, I try. I took some pictures of myself wearing the glasses, but you don't know where my phone is to show you. So here's a recreation. They were octopus glasses. Jada, I cannot get Dan for you because he is working on a video. He's editing it, I think. But he's here in spirit. That was Dan in spirit. I have not read a book by John Green, but I would like to, Ella. Hopefully I'll meet him at VidCon if he's there. I know Hank will be there. Jade said, when is the day in the life video? I need a new camera to film it on, but it's going to be out in July. I promise it will be out in July. I mean, I could just film any day. So I want it to be a kind of good day, but then I want it to be like a normal day at the same time. Because if it was like, we're doing all this insane stuff, it wouldn't be like a day in the life. That'd be like a weird special day. Phil is not on fire five will happen. I've lost who said that as well. Sorry I'm so bad at saying names today. It's gonna happen in I think October or September. Maybe September. Phil's fragrances. Heather, thanks for saying I look cute today. Like a seal. Hi Denmark. Should we do a little Q&A? Do you want to ask me some questions? I'm not going to do a Twitter one. I just want to talk in the chat. So send me some questions in the chat. In the cheat. Boom, boom, boom. Does this dress make me look fat? Yeah, Callie. No, it doesn't really. You might not even be wearing a dress. You might be half horse in an energy tank. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. Claire, my favourite fruit is a melon. Just the melon. I like honeydew melons when they're really fresh and I'm on holiday. Um, oh, wow. Don't tell me to come to your town. Because I would love to come to all of your towns. So I'm going to go everywhere. Uh, what's my favourite cat, said Clara. I like ones that look like Grumpy Cat, but with a happy face. Emily, my favourite Pokemon character is Growlithe. Charlotte said, your eyes are so creepy, what the hell? Uh, it's because Satan is my father. My real father. But do I really have creepy eyes? Yes. Siamese cats. Uh, Claren has a black cat. I never know if that's good luck or bad, bad luck. I think it's good luck. Uh, Josephine, have I ever broken any bones? Yes, I broke this hand here. I broke that bone in a piggyback race at university. I didn't know it was broken until the next day and I was having a shower and then I dropped, um, what was it, the shampoo against my hand somehow. 
when I was trying to open it. And it hurt so much. I was like, wow, I've never felt this weird pain before. And it was aching all the way down my arm. So my friend took me to hospital and I had to wear a weird plaster cast thing. So that was my broken hand. And I've also broke this nose against a wall when I was younger. I was playing trains and I was the front train. I stopped in front of a wall and then we all smushed into it. And I slid down it. And I bled loads of blood into a girl's hair and I remember her screaming. And they were like, we can't give you a plaster because it's against the law. Schools are weird. They can't treat you medically, so they have to wait for a parent to come. So I was just bleeding everywhere. Anyway, moving on from that one. Clara, I can't scare Dan because he, he knows where I am and he's up the stairs over there. So no matter how much I sneaked, he would hear it. Dogs or cats, said Ellen. I am more of a... I think I like dogs more, but I'd prefer a cat. I'm kind of equal on the dog-cat thing. I don't radically prefer one or the other. Sparkle said, what is my least favourite movie? Ooh, that's a good question. My, What's the movie that I've enjoyed the least? I really hated The Happening because it was awful, but then I found it quite funny, so I don't think it's the least favourite movie. Or something I've just absolutely hated. Um... Oh, I didn't enjoy... What is What was that film I watched that I just thought was awful? I don't know, sorry. I've lost it, it's gone out of my head. There's a film called Camp Blood, which is so terrible, but it's kind of hilarious because it's that terrible. I haven't watched any of those, like, epic movie and disaster movie. I'm sure they're all really bad as well. I liked Man of Steel, or Pan of Steel, as I tweeted Chanel. I thought it was good. Loads of people on Twitter are like, ugh, it's so awful. I hated it. But I think people should be less critical of films, and if it's entertaining, then you had a good time. Not everything has to be a masterpiece just because you're a massive Superman fanboy. It was cool. Be louder, ambulance. Um, my favorite milkshake flavor, Melissa, is coconut, which is really hard to get. I like anything coconut flavored, really. Uh, I cannot marry your gerbil. That would be illegal. Mario or Luigi? I like Mario better, Cheryl. Mario! I think... I don't think Luigi is overrated, but I just don't like him as much as a character. Hashtag coconut, said Angel. I don't think I'm going to be hashtagging coconut. <laughs> Jessica, I've just got Animal Crossing, so I will update you next week on how my town is going. What phone do you have, said Lucy. I have an iPhone 4. I, I don't have a 4S, so there is no Siri. It's kind of breaking. The sound doesn't work anymore, so I get no sound on my apps. I don't know why. I've tried resetting it and stuff. So I might get the iPhone 6 if it breaks completely. Burn said, do I support gay marriage? Yes, of course I do. Bill, do you like ravioli? Not my favorite thing, but I, I like to eat it. I like about every food, really. The only food I don't like is cheese, even though I try so hard to like cheese. And I don't like tomatoes in sandwiches either. Do you know, like, just in any sandwich when they just put a slice of tomato, I always just take it out. So a cheese and tomato sandwich is probably my idea of hell. The iPhone 6 has come out, has it? What? There's a 5S. There isn't an iPhone 6. Don't trick me. What's my favourite colour, said Barbara? I think it is blue. I always go for the bluey or purpley colours. iPhone 6 comes out next year. Oh, cool. You're a wizard, Phil, says Sheehan. Kill, sleep with, or marry. I don't like those, because someone always ends up feeling bad. So don't do it. There's loads of people doing it on Twitter a few weeks ago, and I was like... Mm -hmm don't do that. Because it's not nice for the person in their out replies to see they want to be killed by everyone. 
especially if it's me. Um, do I like Joffrey in Game of Thrones as Amber? I like to hate Joffrey. He is a fun person to hate. Alexandra is going to York University on Wednesday. Have a good time. I miss York so much. It's such a nice place. I'd, be I'd recommend York if you want to go to university somewhere cool. Plus, I have been there. Um, it's cool because when you are signing up, they put you in a sorting hat like in Harry Potter, and then you get assigned to a college. Um, and then inside that college, you're in a house with about eight to ten people, and it's like Big, big Brother. You don't know who you're going to be with or what it's going to be like, but everyone's in the same boat, so it's really cool. So, yeah. I like York. Because in some universities, you'll just be put, like, in a corridor with six people. So, But I think, like, ten, you're bound to be able to make a friend. And then you've got next-door neighbours, because it's all, like, little houses. And the town is really nice. Everyone's friendly in the town. Anyway, um... Tiger said, am I going to see Carrie in Les Mis? Yes, I would love to. I haven't booked a ticket or anything yet, but she's going to be in it for a year. So, hopefully I will see her in the year. I'm going to try and go with lots of people. Carrie's really nice. And I'm very happy for her. Oh my god, it's like Hogwarts. I need to go. York University, you're welcome for the 100% increase in admissions. Georgia said, what's my favourite Buffy episode? Uh, I love Hush, which is in season four. That's an episode where everyone loses their voices for like most of the episode. And there's these creepy things called the gentlemen, which fly around above the town like this. And then they knock on your door. And because you can't scream, they hold you down and rip out your heart and eat it. Oh, they actually put your heart in a jar. I don't know what they were doing with the hearts. But still, it's a very scary episode and it's very good. So I would recommend you watch that. Do it. Alia said, can you sing Toxic? Mm -hmm. There, you just got the... Mm. <laughs> you got the... Mm noise. Ugh. That was weird. Uh, Millie, I like the musical as well, a lot. I complimented Joss Whedon on it the other day. Get me. I can't believe I'm going to be on the radio tomorrow. Again? How fast are the weeks going? I heard in the news there's this thing called the quickening where time is going faster now, and scientifically, or something like that, is a theory that time is going much faster than it used to. So remember when the summer holidays seemed to last forever, and now it's just like, whoop, six weeks have gone past. Oh, it's Christmas again. The quickening. Not true. Or is it true? No one knows. I think it's true. So I found out in France, if you get up at 9am or 8am, you have so much to do in the day, like, the days are so long. Getting up at 11, which I have done last week before I went to France, your day just goes, whoop, it's 4 o'clock, and then you may as well go to bed. Uh, Hannah, no, I'm not watching Big Brother this year. I watched it. I stopped watching it when Davina stopped presenting it, and I watched a little bit just by accident yesterday, and all the people just look awful. No interesting people. Bethany, contact lenses are good, it's like most of the time having eyesight because glasses, you're kind of aware that there's this thing on your face and it gets quite tiring. But with contact lenses, it's just like being able to see. But on a bad day, they ruin your life because you can feel them and they get stuff in them. And if an eyelash goes underneath it, it's like hell. So it's a lot of maintenance and it's annoying if they don't work properly. This year has gone very quickly, Tash. Cassidy, my favorite mythical creature is the... Ooh, good question. I like phoenixes, and I like griffins, though they're kind of scary actually. Unicorns. Phoenix. What about a phoenix with a unicorn's head? Phoenix with a unicorn's head. More people are becoming fans. Oh, we've got loads of new people here. Hello everyone! Sign in with Facebook up there quickly and click become a fan. I'm going to say thanks to some more people in the next 10 seconds. Sign in with Facebook. Click become a fan. The thank yous are incoming now. Lily, Hope, Natalie, Ella. You can tell me if you're already a fan as well. Hannah, Emily. Uh, Raquel, Josie. 
Charlotte, Madeline, Katie's already a fan, Regan's already a fan, Nadia's already a fan. Yes, thank you if you've been with me on you now for more than a year. Has anyone watched every single show that would be dedicated? I bet you probably know more about me than I do if you've watched all of my shows. I forget straight away what I've said. Me, said Heather. Thanks for coming back. And Serena. Dedications, what you need. That. Oh, it's just my cup of coffee from earlier. Lydia said yes. I think you now shows are good to have just like on in the background while you're doing homework or something. Kind of like a podcast. You don't need to see my face. But if you're ever bored and there's a show you haven't seen, you can just go to my YouNow profile and just watch one of my older videos, I mean older shows. So I can just like podcast at you while you're doing your homework or something. Only missed one or two. Thanks guys. Oh yeah, should we make a creature? Last week or two weeks ago, we created this. I don't think this can be beaten. This is my favorite one so far ever. So let's not even try and beat that. Let's just make something different. Um, so I, I might put the thing here so I can draw it easier. Here we are. Okay. to see. Right, what kind of... This time I'm going to just ask you all the things and I'm going to show you at the end so you're not going to see the progress. So what kind of eyes do you want? Wide eyes, says Sabina. Heart eyes. Big eyes, says Majila. Anime eyes, says Claire. We haven't had anime eyes in a while. Let's do anime eyes. Quite hard to draw. Talk amongst yourselves as I do these. I'm going to try a bit harder with this one. Because last week's was horrific. There's someone on Tumblr, I forgot their name, but they do like an amazing pencil drawing of these freaky animals that we draw. I'm still doing the eyes, by the way. While I'm doing the eyes, get thinking of what nose you want. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Okay, the eyes are done. And I'll do the whole face as well. Okay, what kind of nose? Portal nose, says Abigail. Let's do a portal nose. That sounds cool. I don't really know what a portal looks like, so I'm just going to do like a swirly. Okay, mouth. Parrot nose says it's Nicola. No, too late. I'm sorry. The nose has been drawn. Gas mask mouth said Tanisha. I wouldn't know how to draw that. A flower mouth said Akela. A lion mouth. A vampire says Dory. a clown mouth, I like that. Clown mouth from Zozo. Okay, we're gonna have a clown mouth. Okay, we have the clown mouth. Now, what kind of hair? George said he should be crying because MCR broke up. Okay, he's crying because of that. <laughs> Fire hair. We had that last week. Spiky hair, says Kayla. Your hair, says Suzanne. Let's give it my hair. Oh, 
can't fill in the entire blackness. So I'll do lines. Okay, what kind of ears? Mickey Mouse ears, says Kerry. Tentacle elf. TARDIS ears, says Alexandria. Let's do TARDIS ears. <laughs> this is weird. I what the TARDIS looks like. Oh no. Okay, we have TARDIS ears. Now what kind of body is he going to have? Ballerina body, said Brittany. A twisty marshmallow body. A jelly body, said Jessica. A bodybuilder, said Alicia. Okay, he can be a bodybuilder. So he's got really buff shoulders. And then... Not really, there's not really much room to draw muscliness. Drawing like a vest. There you go. Start of man boob pecs. <laughs> and any other features you want me to add? Spaghetti beard. Flaming eyebrows, said Jesse. Okay, there. Piercing, said Erica, okay. A bull nose ring. That's kind of hard to draw on a portal. Bangs. A whale tattoo, said Amy. Was that Amy who said that? Yes, it was, Amy. Okay, a whale tattoo is going on his giant bicep. One more thing. Cat whiskers from Bo. Okay, what are we calling it, guy? Oh, you can see him now. There he is! <laughs> so we have anime eyes, a portal nose, a clown mouth with vampire teeth, spaghetti beard, Giant muscular body with the start of man boob pecs and a whale tattoo. TARDIS ears. That is sexy, says Lizzie. Satan. Beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's you that created it. We should create a museum to that. We should. Maybe I could do like an art gallery of all of these things we've made together. What are we going to call it? Okay. It's adorable, said Alyssa. So pretty. Kawaii! I think whenever you give something anime eyes... No! Oh god! Oh no! I just spilled milk and cereal all over my ass. Look at that! Milk all over my butt. Oh god! What is wrong with me? Guys! I have to go clean this up. I am such a fail. I am the worst person alive. I've got to, I, straight after the milk incident, there is now milk all over the sofa. I've got to go clean it. So this is going to be an abrupt end to my broadcast. I was going to leave soon anyway. Thanks for coming. I've got to clean the sofa. I'm an idiot. I just had milk, I just had some cereal before I started filming and I knocked it off. Bye. Ah, ah, disaster, disaster, disaster. <laughs>